In today's video, we're going to be showing you how to tie in a chanter stock to a hide bag. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper, and on this channel I make videos to make you a stronger and more confident piper. If you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, comment below with any thoughts you might have, and share this with anyone you might think uh, could find this useful. So, the project has been, the last couple of videos, tying in to, in this case, a goatskin bag by the McKillop Bagpipe Company right here. We have to do the hardest of all of the stocks, the chanter stock. In the best of situations, it's a bit of a bear, and I'm, I'm going to admit right now, this is a larger than normal opening right here. It's made it easier to get the parts inside, but we're going to see how it does for actually tying in a chanter stock. For the chanter stock, we're going to need some extra bits of leather. Now, these are not the ones he supplied. Um, I, I lost those. Not his fault. Uh, he it was uh, provided with two lovely bits, but I had some extra leather. But uh, when this is all said and done, if you notice that it doesn't quite match color, that's why. This is my own leather. They're normally about two inches square. These are a little longer because it's a slightly thinner leather. All right, so we're back. We are ready to go. I have the uh, little leather assisters all wrapped. They got little dental elastics around them, which I'm gonna find those work great. It keeps them together. You could tie them with a little sinew. It doesn't matter, but I would do something to hold them together. Now, there was not quite enough string left um, to wrap the channer stock. And I typically kind of go around it twice. So I am uh, now using an arm's length times two times two. I want two arm's lengths worth. It takes about one arm's length worth for the wrapping the first time and then the second time. And then I double the string on my little metal pipe here that I use to pull against. You could use a wooden dowel you can use whatever you need. A lot of people I see using hammers and other things. I don't tend to recommend that because you'll have a piece of hammer coming at your face. So it doesn't really help with anything. But uh, as I said before, do what works for you. Okay, so once I have it through, I'm going to grab the other end of it. Hold those together. Kind of just feed them through my hand. I can kind of feed it, feel it feeding through here. Now we should have plenty for this. I'm going to do couple twists right here and then tie a little overhand knot and between all that boom it's not going to want to move so this won't be spinning on the pipe now so wrap it up now I'm going to try a new knot when we start this I'm going to try a double constrictor knot and if it works, I'll put a diagram on the screen. If it doesn't, I'll go back to my trusty bowling. But uh, I think this constrictor knot looked like it, uh, it might do the job quite nicely. Now, I have my two little uh, deals here. The uh, little, I ain't sure what they are. The little rolls of leather that come with the bag. And they're going to go on either side of this when we tie in. And the other thing we're going to use is some sticky tack. It could be blue. It can be gray. It doesn't really matter. But this is going to help at the back of the neck, fill in the gap where air tends to like to leak out of this particular fitting. So I'm gonna angle this camera down a little bit here. Pardon me. Okay, so I don't have to hold everything up. And the other thing we need, so we have our string here attached to a metal pipe. I'm using artificial sinew. And we have our little pull through, because when we're done, we're gonna pull the string back through under the wrapping we've done, and then tie a couple of half hitches in it. And then if everything's airtight when we're done, we will then uh, put a couple dots of super glue on there to lock everything in place. So now let's take a look and see how this is best gonna fit. So I'm going to grab a Sharpie actually to help me know where all the strings are gonna go. So I'm gonna kind of put a mark right around here. And that's gonna help me know where everything goes. So behind this, we're going to put a big old dollop of sticky tack right at the base of the neck here. I'm going to take about half of what we have right here and knead it up a little bit. A nice little ball. Stick it in there. I see right because of the... 
right there. Because of the blue Sharpie line, I know exactly where that's going. Okay, how's everything looking now? That's ah, already fitting a lot better with that. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some st more sticky tack. I'm gonna make it nice and long, and I'm actually gonna put a thin amount of this all through the groove of the chanter stock as well. Just something a little bit more to bite into. And on this uh, stock, this is from a Peter Henderson pipe from 2018. Um, it's a pretty deep groove. And this will just give it all something to, as the string goes and the leather bites into it. So, so I got a little sticky tack all through the groove here. I'm gonna go ahead and add even just a little bit more into this. If it goes out on the bottom, that's fine. If it means we're airtight. Okay, so I have, let's look, a big old dollop of it in there because again, this is a rather large opening. Even with that, I can still fit the stock. And we're gonna see how this all goes together. So, now I'm going to try a constrictor knot. So, if this works, I'll put a dolly diagram on the screen and we'll talk about it. If it doesn't work, I'll go back to my old bullet. But for now, you get to see me try to struggle with a new knot I've never tied before at least not uh, while working with a bagpipe. So here we go. Put this stock in here. Try to make sure that the groove aligns with the mark in Sharpie I put on there. It looks like it is. I'm going to have the string on this side and I'm gonna come up and I want quite of a slack right now. I know that. Gonna come up and around. Okay, and then over the top. And with any luck, this constrictor knot is gonna work well to hold everything in place for at least when we start. Okay, it's in the groove of the pipes. It's a little high over on this side. Okay, there we go. This is nice, it's not loosening at all as I'm tightening the knot. Gonna wrap this around so I can pull it taut. Looks like I need to be pulling it on the other side. So I used a spoon earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and just wrap some of this around of the other side. So there's a brand new knot. I, I read about people using this knot while tying in uh, Illin pipe main stocks, actually, of, of all things. And they said it worked really well. So let's see if maybe, just maybe, it would work. All right, so I have a constrictor knot holding the stock in place along with the two little side deals that uh, are gonna help keep the welt in place. Now, in this case, the welt kind of folded over to the side because of the size of the opening. But there's a lot of sticky tack in here, so with any luck, this is gonna work out fine. So let's uh, keep wrapping this a little bit. So I can kind of hold this up and you can see. So I got the two, I got the, the wrap on there, the two leather things. Now it's time to actually start really going to town, seeing if we can't make an airtight fitting around this chanter stock. Okay, so I think on this wrap, I'm finally ready to put my loop. I'll pull everything through underneath and kind of like the, the other bit of string here. I'm going to just tuck it into the blowpipe stock, get it out of the way, stop it back in. We'll either get an airtight bagpipe when we're done or we won't. So again, I'm wrapping, pulling super snug. Right now, these are all kind of in the groove of the stock. I'm about to go down lower now to go, there we go, at a different angle. That really kind of cut in. Now, rather than staying kind of up high, where you can see here, I'm gonna more or less follow the shape of the bottom neck of the bag now. Let's try to get that super firm too. There we go. This takes some, some strength. This is a, uh, this is not uh, easy if you do it right. I'm doing my best to pull across my body, not just into my face. There we go, 
get a nice good fit. Getting that sticky tack starting to really kind of goo out, which means I'm cutting into it. That's good. Okay, we're gonna, I'm gonna actually on this one, I'm gonna do a fit. I'm gonna do a wrap right around the middle as well. Channer stock fittings are not always the most attractive, but my goal here is not for this to be super pretty. I'm gonna have a bag cover on over it. It's for it to be airtight. All right, one more here. We're pretty much out of string right now, so cut this off. I want a nice long tail. Okay, so let's see. There's the top of my loop. I'm gonna feed the extra bit through the loop right here. So we've got my loop, got the extra. This is kind of harder to, to do and talk than I expected and show everything. It's all tan and brown. <clears throat> Pull that through. So it's nice that it was kind of that hard to pull through. And I'm going to go ahead and come around and tie a good little double half hitch here. So again, I'm just wrapping it around, kind of get my finger up in the way to, to hold it up. And then I'm just going to kind of wrap it up and around two times over. And again. And boom, tie that knot. And there we go. This may or may not be airtight. Most of the time when I do, uh, especially some sort of goat or sheep, I'm never surprised when um, it's not airtight the first time. Pretty good at getting cowhide that tight the first time, but uh, I'll leave about an inch after that. So let's go ahead and cork this thing up and see if uh, it's leaking like a sieve out of these stocks or not. All right, so there's a stopper right here. I think we're gonna call it a day with this particular fitting. Uh, I don't know how useful this particular video was because it was a little hard to put together. Um, there's a lot to do, a <laughs> one-man operation here. So hopefully you got some value out of it. If you did, uh, maybe think about subscribing. I'm gonna go ahead and get some seasoning ready and season this thing all up and uh, maybe talk you through what I'm doing there. But in the meantime, everyone, I'm Matt Willis Bagpiper. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment below on how wrongly I just did this. And in any case, I'll see you next time, guys.